Hello everyone, welcome to Plugging My Passion YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to display a WordPress widget on a specific page or post. Suppose uh, you have a particular widget, you want to display it on a uh, specific page or post or uh, you know, a couple of pages or a couple of posts and you don't want to display it anywhere else, then you can use this method uh, uh, to do that. I will show you an example here. So this is my blog which is uh, bloggingmypassion.com uh, So in this blog, this is the home page and if you see the home page uh, You can see like you know, I am displaying a widget here mm, This is an about me widget which I want to display it only on the home page and it is linked to the about me page here And I don't want to display uh, it anywhere else. So if you see the contact us page like you know you uh, don't uh, see the widget and if you see uh, any other page uh, you don't see the widget if you can see it like you know uh, only on the home page so this is the about me page and if you click on this one i have linked it to my about me page and uh, it's me uh, and this is my dog max mm, so uh, you can see it like you know only on the home page and you cannot see it on any other page or let me go to your post so this is a post and you cannot see it like you know on any uh, other post as well so uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this one. That means how to display, um, uh, you know, uh, a particular widget on a particular page. Uh, and I will also show you, like, you know, how to display it uh, uh, on not just the home page, but on any other page only, or like, you know, a couple of uh, pages, but not like anywhere else. Or uh, you know, I will also show you how to how to display it on a particular page uh, and a particular post only or like you know a couple of posts only and you know a couple of pages plus a couple of posts so i'll show you like you know all these things in this video so for uh, doing this one uh, we need to have uh, a widget called uh, widget logic and we need to install that uh, it's not a widget actually but it's a plugin so we need to install uh, the plugin and the plugin is called widget logic Okay, so to install that plugin, let's go to uh, the let's go to our dashboard, and this is my dashboard, and uh, go to the plugins section and uh, click on Add New here, and search the plugins with the widget which are with the plugin name Widget Login Widget Logic. Okay, so I have set it this one. Uh, so this is the widget logic plugin and uh, I have already installed this one. So let's go to our installed plugins. Okay, so this is the widget logic plugin. So uh, let us activate this plugin. Okay, now the plugin is activated. We have installed the plugin and we have activated this one. So what this particular plugin does, like it won't add any settings or anything that means once you uh, install this plugin you won't see any settings under settings tab or anywhere so what it will do is it will simply when you are uh, adding a new widget it will simply add a new area under that particular widget where you can write like a small piece of code to display this part uh, you know uh, the widget only on the pages only on the, you know specific pages or specific posts uh, that you want to so let me show you this one so let's go to the appearance section and the widgets section so here like you know these are all like you know the different uh, um, uh, widget sections available uh, widget areas like an you know, available so this is primary sidebar is uh, you know this is the primary sidebar so let me refresh this one okay so right now like you know, i have to uh, just remove this one to show you how it works so let me go here so this is the primary sidebar so let me add a text widget here so i am adding a text widget here okay so i have added a text widget here so if you see this one this is uh, uh, where like you can write the title and you can uh, add like any text you want and if you see at the bottom of this one you can see the widget logic you know uh, new area box so here like you know you can write any code you want like you know to display that particular logic to display that particular widget okay so let me uh, you know uh, let me add like you know the picture of mine here and uh, you know i will show you like you know how to display this one on a particular page or post 
okay uh, so this is uh, you know the code the html code for displaying uh, my image my image is like you know under a particular folder in my uh, blog and uh, i used this image tag and then i linked it uh, to the about me page using the href tag uh, so you, you need to know like uh, you know little HTML here for this one so I have like you know written this code here to display the particular image and now right now like you know, I'm not writing a, I'm not uh, uh, adding any code here so uh, if you don't uh, add anything here and if you just save it it will display it on all pages and posts so I just saved it so let's go here and I'm just refreshing the home page and I'm seeing uh, you know uh, this particular widget on the home page and I'm seeing it on the uh, about me page and I'm seeing it in the contact us page and if I go to any post like you know I'm seeing it on the posts as well so now let us make it to display only on the home page so if you want to display it on only on the home page then you have to write like in a particular code here uh, you need to know like in a uh, few WordPress functions to do this one so the particular wordpress function to do this one is is underscore home so is underscore home is the code for displaying uh, this particular widget on the on home page only that means when this particular like you know uh, page is getting executed uh, i mean like you know, when you try to load this page what it does is uh, it checks like you know whether this widget is on this home page or not if it is on the home page then it displays the widget otherwise it won't display it so let's save this one and let's go to this uh, my blog and uh, you know refresh this one so it is showing on the home page and if i go to any other page like it won't show it so on the other pages like it is not showing and on the posts also it is not showing it so it is working fine so the function to display it only on the home page is is underscore home okay let's say like if you instead of home page if you want to display it on a different page instead of home page so we have a separate function for that one and the function is is underscore page of that particular page id so here like you know we have to enter the page id here so uh, in order to know the page id uh, you know uh, just go go to the pages section here and you know i'm just opening it in a new tab so okay so these are all like you know the different uh, pages here so we have to know let's say like you know we would like to display uh, the widget only on the contact us page so just like you know move your mouse put your mouse pointer uh, you know uh, on the contact us link okay on the contact us title and if you observe like you know, just observe at the bottom uh, on the left hand side you know uh, bottom corner and you will see uh, the hyperlink for this one where like you will see the post id if you see for this one uh, here you can see that like in, uh, at the bottom you will see www.bloggingmypassion.com slash wp admin slash post.php question mark post is equal to 10 that means the page id for this particular page is 10 so just go here and you know update this id is underscore page of 10 so now like you know, we are displaying this particular widget on a page with id 10 which is nothing but our contact us page so just save this one okay now it is saved let's go here and check the home page on the home page it is not displaying and about me page also it is not displaying and on the contact us page if you see like you know this is displaying so we are controlling this widget using this particular function called is underscore page of 10 okay let's go to a post and see like you know, if it is displaying and okay so it is not displaying on a post as well so this is how like you know we'll uh, uh, display it like you know, on a particular uh, page let's say like you know if you want to display this widget on a home page and also on a contact us page so then like you know we can use this function we can we need to use like you know is underscore home function so it checks like you know whether the page is a home page and displays this one and uh, uh, we need to use is underscore page with the page id and you need to use the condition logical condition r that means display so what we are uh, telling the like, you know, to wordpress is display this particular widget when it is a home page or 
with a page ID 10 which is nothing but contact us page so that means here in this case we are displaying it on the home page and also on the contact us page so let's save this one and let's go here and click on the home page yes we are seeing the like another widget and on the contact us page we are seeing this widget and if you go to any other page it won't show and if you go to any post also it won't show okay so using this uh, you know uh, when do you use like you know, both of these functions like you know, is underscore home or is underscore page of 10 if you want to display it like you know, on the home page and also like in you know, a couple of more pages like uh, let's say like you know, uh, let me go and see i'm going to about me page on the about me page also like you know, i would like to display this one and just point it here and see like you know the pay the page id is 793 in this case so let's go here and r is underscore page of 793 that means in this case we are displaying this particular widget on the home page and on the contact us page and on the about me page as well like you know we are displaying it so let's go here and uh, you know let's go to home page yes it is displaying this one about me page yes it is displaying contact us page yes it is displaying and on any other pages like you know it won't display this one and if you go to any post also like you know, it won't display this okay so now like you know, we know how to display like another you know, particular widget on a uh, home page or on the uh, on any other particular pages let's see like you know how to display this widget on a particular post okay you know, so let's see uh, for displaying it like you know, on a particular post we have a function called is underscore single and we have to give the post id here so again like you know for knowing like you know what that particular post id let's go here and you know go to the post and all, all posts and uh, you know i would like to display my widget only on effective seo tips for wordpress bloggers only on this post i would like to display it so I have to know like you know the ID of this post so just like you know, move your mouse uh, cursor on this post title and at the bottom corner like you know you can see like you know the post ID is 1700 okay so let's go to this widget section so is underscore single of 1700 that means we are asking the WordPress uh, you know when the page is loading to display this widget only on a post with ID 1700 is underscore single is the function for this one and you know let's save this one and now this should display only on the uh, on a particular post so let's go to home page so it's not displaying this one let's go to any other pages it's not displaying this one so let's go to your, this particular effective SEO tips for, for WordPress bloggers so let's click this one and here like you now we can see our widget here if you go to any other post like you know uh, this one see it is not displaying here so this way like you know uh, in order to display uh, widget on a particular post we can use this function is underscore single so there are mainly these three functions like you know is underscore home is underscore page is underscore single we can use these three functions to control uh, any you know widget on to display any widget on a particular page or like you know home page or or any particular post so if you want to display it like you know this particular widget on two posts then you can use like you know the same function is underscore single but uh, use the logical condition r is underscore single of the post id so let's say like you know, 1750 is another post id another post id then it will display on these two posts so you can use this logical condition and you can write write like you know uh, any page or like you know post anything you want like you know uh, if you want to display it on a page just use uh, r is underscore page if you want to display it on the home page also just use r is underscore home so use all these uh, functions and uh, you can control this widget like you know, to display it on a particular page or home page or post so this is how like uh, you can display uh, a widget a wordpress widget on a particular page or post and hope you like this video if you like this video please uh, subscribe to my youtube channel 
ब्लॉगिंग में पैशन थैंक यू